Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a cult beauty order. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube so I apologise for that. I'm filming with a ring light today so I'm trying to get used to it. Well my eyes are trying to get used to it. So today I'll be filming a cult beauty order that I placed about a week ago. I've been looking at some stuff in cult beauty for a while and then I think they did, they do some flash, um, they do some pop-ups where you get free goodie bags and one came up and I was like this is the time to do the order. Got a nice huge box. So let's dive in. So the first thing I ordered were some beauty blenders. I got the blue, the green, and the yellow beauty blenders. Um, my sister absolutely, absolutely loves them. So I ordered two for her, one for me. Um, they're quite nice. They're really nice with foundation or cream products. And they're really good at baking. So if you use a wet one to uh, apply powder um, under your eyes or your nose. It bakes so lovely. Probably don't need to talk about these much. Uh. So the next thing I got was this Olaplex Hair tr uh, Repair Trial Kit. So I've heard a lot of things about Olaplex Instagram and YouTube and I wanted to try, um, try the trial kit to see if I like it, if I don't like it, because I have very thick, coarse, frizzy, curly hair and um, I'm trying to manage it, it's very difficult. If any of you guys have any good recommendations for thick curly frizzy hair, please leave below. I also got some Sarah Chapman minis because um, the Sarah Chapman skincare line is quite expensive and I don't want to commit to anything until I've tried it. I have broken out to some chemicals in the past so I do not want to splash out until I've tried um, a few. So I've got the Sarah Chapman morning facial, the Sarah Chapman overnight facial, and the Sarah Chapman Skin Assist Ultimate Cleanse. I will report back to you guys how I found them and if I am going to buy the full size products. The thing I got was the Wishful Chinless Sculpting Sheet Mask. I've seen multiple, multiple people use this and actually I thought it was gimmicky at first but it actually looks like they do work. I've watched some videos on YouTube and Instagram and before and afters there is some difference so I thought I'll give it a go. I'm not getting any younger, am I? The next thing I bought was the Iconic Sheer Blush in the shade Berry Boom, which is a beautiful dark berry colour, if you can see. Um, and I've seen... Um, it's something I've been wanting to try for a very long time, and I can't wait to use it in a video soon. The next thing I got, the Iconic London Brow Silk Kit. Um, you get the Iconic London... Brow Silk, which looks absolutely dreamy with one of their brushes. This is interesting. I cannot wait to try it. This time and time again on TikTok and I cannot wait to use it. The next thing I got was the Larry King A Social Life for Your Hair. I was under the exception I ordered this with the brush, but apparently I didn't, which is so sad. This is meant to be a hair finishing cream, which is meant to... Uh, keep the frizz hairs at bay. Um, this is basically, if this product works, this is basically what my hair has needed for the last 25 years. So, fingers crossed it works. Um, I have very high hopes for it. I think I've watched Lily Pebbles use it and I cannot wait to use it on the top half of my hair because um, I feel like if my bottom hair, bottom half of my hair is frizzy, I use the Way Wave Spray and it calms it, but I, I find it very difficult to keep the frizz down, the frizz at bay, root of the top head of my hair, so I cannot wait to use this and it will be so gorgeous for a sleek hair bun. Then I also got the Fresh Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream. Um, I have very dry lips, um, I have chronic dry lips. Um, I currently use the Laneige Sleep Mask which I'm nearly finishing and a various ton of other lip balms, so I'm always searching for the perfect ones. Last, but by no means the least, is the Live Tinted Two Stick. I wanted to try Deepika's uh, makeup line for so long, and they finally have released in Cult Beauty. So I am super, 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 super excited to try this. It's like a copper packaging, and oh my god, it feels like it's nice. It's all like smooth, as I hoped, but. Let me have a look at the colour. So this is Rise, which is like an orange colour. So this is meant to be good for 
a medium discoloration um, so I shall report that. It's a multi-step product, it's original use I think is a colour corrector but I think it works well um, on as a cream eyeshadow, cream blush or a lipstick and I will definitely be doing a first impressions on this used stick so please watch out. This is the Cult Beauty Goodie bag that I got and I think you had to spend about £150 to get this free goodie bag and I think it was worth like 200 something so it's very worthwhile. So I'm going to go through what there is. This is the, uh, the first thing I have is the Emma Hardy Cleansing Balm. Uh, it's a very good cleansing balm. I've actually got a mini of this as well. I think it's from like a beauty advert cover or something. And the Ren Ready Steady AHA Tonic. I've uh, used this before. It's absolutely gorgeous. Then I have the Honest Beauty Matte, Matte Primer. I've never used anything from Honest Beauty so I'm quite excited to try this. I've got the Medicaid C Tetra Lipid Vitamin C. Ooh, I've never tried anything from Glow Recipe before. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tightener. Uh, I would love this. I have very clogged and congested pores, so hopefully this works. I think it's very hard with the skincare because you don't want to like introduce too many new things into your skincare because if your skin starts um, getting better, you don't know what product it was or if you react to it. You don't know what, what product caused the breakout. The Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Um, I've always wanted to try this. Um, it is Mrs. Iron Man's brand, so I'm sure it'll be fine. I also have, well I've never heard of this. And this is the Galini Hydrating Face Cream. I've never seen this before. I'll definitely be having a go with that. And I have the Elemis Skin Nourishing Milk Bath. I'm not normally a fan of like luxury body care, but if it's here, why not? Also, the Power Beauty Matte Lipstick in Dirty 30. I can use it in five years. This also gives the fresh rose deep hydration face cream. Hey! To match my lip balm. Ooh, I have a Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Luster. This is interesting. Let me have a quick peep of the colour. Oh, that is quite pretty. The next thing is the Biosense Squalene Vitamin C Rose Oil. Nice. Oh, then we have the Rio Sunset Glow Oil. And the Pie Rose Hip Oil. My friend Manpreet swears by this. Oh, it's such a little cute, cute little thing. Oh, look at the packaging, guys. I have to show you. It's so, I, I am a, such a sucker for cute packaging, I tell you, look. It comes in this little box and then you unveil it. There's this little cute wallet is in there. So yeah, as I was saying, my friend Mampri uses this as one of her go-to moisturisers. She uses that instead of moisturiser, so I trust her recommendation, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to love that. And this is the Oscar Renaissance Mask. Um, Oscar Renaissance is a, the Oscar Renaissance cleansing gel is a YouTube cult favourite, so let's see how the mask is. I have the Esper body lotion, I normally save these minis, so like the body wash and the body cream, I normally save them for when I go to Gold Holiday in Europe and we have the little plastic bags we have to fill, so I like to take them then. And this is a Dr. Dennis Gross Lightweight Wrinkle Defense. I'll keep that. I may need to start using that very soon. Bodily Complexion Correcting Serum. I do mean that I have really bad hyperpigmentation around my mouth and I have some um, spot scarring from wearing masks on my cheek. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. I've actually wanted to try this and I like these mini mascaras because I feel like you can just chuck them in your handbag or in your makeup bag and it won't take up much space. Then I've got these two minis. I've got the It Cosmetics Hello Results Wrinkle Reducing Daily Retinol Serum. Um, I feel like this is a bit too small to, for me to actually see if I like it or not but I will definitely give it. Oh, this says, this is a gold Fadden ND Bright Eyes cream. I should definitely try that because I have very bad um, dark circles. I've just recently started watching Homeland and if you know me, I have gone on about Homeland 
to everybody. It's a bloody amazing show. You sh it's on Netflix and you have to, have to check it out. I've literally been sleeping at like 3 in the morning and going to work. So the last two things is this makeup bag, which I was not keen on. I feel like, Carl oh, Beauty, you could do something better than this makeup bag. Um, but it's okay. I suppose. It's, it's a normal makeup bag. I feel like the actual outside could have been better than brown paper theme and then we've got this little door hanging it says perfecting wing <laughs> perfecting wing liner I've made peace sometime I feel you girl I feel you <laughs> so yeah as you can see the amount of freebies I got from this purchase is insane and obviously this little cup beauty makeup bag I feel like I prefer this bag over this just saying I honestly appreciate how much freebies that have come with my order and I think a cult beauty order and you are in no rush to buy the products wait until they put these like gifts with purchase out and then you can like snag some goodies in there is it for the video guys I hope you enjoyed my cult beauty haul see you guys